The tender lesion on the palm from the male of 20 was a myomesia. Myomesias are also known as deep palmoplantar warts. They are characteristically tender and occur on the palms and soles. Histologically, they are flask-shaped with papillae and keratohyaline granules. Looking at the lesion on low power allows you to appreciate the flask shape. The high power views demonstrate the papillae and also the keratohyaline granules. The second case was the pearly papule on the face of the 15-year-old, and this is molluscum contagiosum. The lesions are 2 to 4 mm waxy papules with umbilicated centres. The key histological feature is large intracytoplasmic inclusion bodies in the epidermis. These are also known as molluscum bodies. These Intracytoplasmic inclusions gradually work their way up the epidermis and into the keratin layer. The pigmented lesion on the arm of the baby girl was a congenital melanocytic nevus. Congenital melanocytic nevi are present in approximately 1% of newborn babies. The non-giant nevi may contain tufts of hair. Histologically, the nevus cells can be seen in the dermis to originate either in or lie close to adnexal structures. This low power view shows the Neva cells extending deep into the dermis. And the high power views show the Neva cells hugging the adnexal structures. The nodular lesion on the face of the 70-year-old man is a Merkel cell carcinoma. The majority of Merkel cell carcinomas arise in adults, especially the elderly, and 50% of them occur in the skin of the head and neck and face. The tumours are nodular and the tumour cells are situated in the dermis and sometimes extend into the subcutaneous tissues. This low power view shows the Merkel cell carcinoma deep in the dermis. Looking at the tumour at a higher power you can see that the cells have a neuroendocrine type of appearance similar to small cell carcinoma of the lung, for example. The final case was the 45-year-old female dog owner with an erythematous lesion in the groin. This is a tick bite and the fact that she is a dog owner gives a clue to the diagnosis. Ticks are often found in the long grass, which is why they frequently affect dogs, and presence of mouth parts in the skin is diagnostic of a tick bite. Looking at the skin biopsy at a higher power, you can see not only is the skin ulcerated and inflamed, but there is a yellow structure, and this is the chitin of the exoskeleton of the tick.
enabling the diagnosis of a tick bite to be made. Yeah.